When you think of Hauda or Gouda, you probably think of one thing, cheese. However, the beautiful city of Hauda has a lot more to offer than just cheese. In this video, we're going to be exploring some of the historic and modern buildings in the city, visiting the cheese market, eating lots of delicious food, and visiting one of the last stroke waffle factories in the Netherlands. Before we explore the city, there's a restaurant we've been wanting to try for a while now, Miss Nice Banana. We're finally eating at a vegan restaurant. We're excited to get a healthy lunch today. Well, healthy-ish. We got vegan capsulon. <laughs> Look how huge this is. This is like a, like a French fry salad. <laughs> also, I got a little smoothie and Alex got some coffee. So, okay, let's, let's see what we've got going on. So I think there's French fries at the bottom, obviously. I think this is pulled. Pulled jackfruit, salad, tomatoes, avocado, and then like spicy sauce and mayonnaise. I gotta try to get a little bit of everything. It's really good. There's corn in it. There's like everything in this. This is really tasty. I, this is gonna be like a typical like vegan thing, but like I actually can't tell much of a difference between this and what we order at home, which is the donor on it, except this is a lot more vegetables. That was a great meal. Yeah. I um, I don't know how healthy it was, but it was interesting because it was mostly a salad. It was like probably four fifths salad mm -hmm. and a little bit of French fries in the bottom, which was a nice little treat. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like loaded up with French fries. Yeah. But it was the Mexican capsulon, which is funny because of where we're about to get dinner. Well, not about to get dinner, but you know, I didn't later in the video. I didn't that when you ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> we made our way to Moulin de Rode de Lou, which translates to the Red Lion in English. It was built in the 1700s and was nominated for demolition multiple times in the 20th century. Behind me is Hauekirk, which is one of the two major churches. The other one is the Church of St. John's in Hauda. And this church is particularly noteworthy because it's a, it was built in the early 1900s and it mimicked the architecture of some of the churches that were hundreds of years older than it. That's not the church ringing the bells though. No, that's the Church of St. John's. We don't have enough time to go here on this visit, but Spa Hauda is highly rated and seems like a fantastic example of a sauna experience in one of the neighborhoods in the Netherlands. So we'll definitely be back to check it out. Is this a stroke waffle automat? We got so many. <laughs> This is the old city hall in Hauda. It's one of the oldest Gothic town hall structures in the Netherlands. And there is a full-size replica of this building at House Ten Boss in Japan. That's pretty fun. Hey, Michelle. What? Who's your favorite rapper? Gouda Chris. Hauda Chris doesn't really have the same ring to it. 
And this is the old weigh house where they used to weigh all the cheese before they took it to auction and so sold it. And slap it. These two buildings represent what Hauda is best known for, <laughs> which is the Stropwaffle, which is the new city hall building. And it has the like iconic diamond design that Stropwaffles have. And the movie theater, which is cheese. But I thought Swiss cheese had holes in it. Does Hauda have holes in it? It's cheese time, y'all. Welcome to the Hauda Cheese Market. This cheese market has been around since 1395, where farmers would trade and sell their cheese. And I'm using past tense terms because it's not actually a functional cheese market anymore. The cheese market itself ended in the last half of the 20th century. The date's a little disputed. So it's really just used for rituals and a tourist attraction right now, but it's pretty cool. Our first snack in the market is a strope waffle, but with how to cheese inside. Never seen this before. Don't think it's authentic, but it's all of the things that Kauda is known for. It's like a tiny, thin grilled cheese between two delicious crackers. Is it better than a, stro a normal strope waffle? This might be controversial, but yes, I think it might be. <laughs> Try it. It's good, but a normal strope waffle is better. For our second snack of the market, we got Kibling. You know it's Kibling because it's in a fish safe container. That is how you know for sure. Also, the the stall that it came from is called Vitamin C. <laughs> this is my new favorite thing. It's <laughs> empty. All right, Michelle, what do you think of the cheese market? I thought it was good. It had a lot of good food. Gouda? It Gouda? Was, it was- It was good? Good. <laughs> um, it had a lot of good food, a lot of good snacks. It was very busy though. Very busy. And today was like not a good weather day, so I'm sure on a nice day, it's really busy. Yeah, we had a little bit of sun today. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. What yeah. did you think? Um, it was really touristy. <laughs> yeah. um, that's not to say it's a bad thing. It was just, I, I don't think I fully expected it to be that touristy. It really felt like it was more like a, a show than anything else. I mean, it's, that's what it is. It's yeah. a reenactment. There are actually very few functional cheese markets left in the Netherlands, but there is one that's really close to here in Varden. So if you want to see us maybe check out what a real cheese market is like, let us know in the comments below. We'll probably go anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hauda, beautiful city. Really enjoying it so far, minus the weather. <laughs> Um, good coffee, good food so far. Just uh, honestly, it's beautiful. Like, look at this. I know. Gorgeous. So picturesque. You hear that music? Gorgeous. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. This is the Kamphausen Syrup Waffle Factory. They've been making syrup waffles for over 200 years. Nice. After a short video about the history of the strobe waffle, and more importantly, learning the difference between a strobe waffle and a syrup waffle, which we'll talk about in a sec, you are led through a secret entrance to the factory. First up, you get to taste all the different versions of fillings for the waffles. No doubt this was the most popular part of the tour. Next, you see how the syrup waffles are actually made. Cast iron molds press and cook each cookie. Stroop waffles are softer, pliable waffles that are split long ways to create two cookies with a thin filling made from syrup, cinnamon, and other spices. Syrup waffles are two separate crunchy cookies held together by a thick filling with a rich butter taste. And with that, the only way to exit the factory is through a slide. Bye. And waiting for you at the end is a fresh syrup waffle. Mm. It's very crunchy. It's crunchy and like buttery on the inside. Now that we've had dessert, let's get dinner. I've heard that Howda has a really great Mexican restaurant, which is great because we've really, really missed Mexican food since we've been in the Netherlands. So let's see if it scratches our itch. It's down there. We are at Sojimuko, which has been here for over 30 years, so it must be good. And we've ordered a few things and we'll show you when they come out. But I also got a Corona, which I'm having for the very first time in the Netherlands. 
Alex just said this is the real test because we got guacamole. And chips. The chips are really warm. So we got two enchiladas, corn tortilla, black beans, and rice. So I'm editing this video and I just realized that we haven't really explained what an enchilada is. I don't know how popular they are in the rest of the world, but it's a corn tortilla with a filling inside and it's covered with some green salsa, the salsa verde. Anyway, that's an enchilada. I think this one's chicken and beef. This is quite tasty. It's very good. It's just like, like the tomatillo sauce is really good. The chicken is really tasty. It's got like a lot of oregano in it. Um, it's just like, yeah. I'm very happy right now. I'd say 7.9 out of 10. Oh, <laughs> that was a big dinner. That was a long walk. <laughs> it really wasn't that long of a walk. I'm just very full. It felt long. I'm weighed down. <laughs> yes, I am also weighed down. So that was, that's Howda. Yeah. At least that was our day in Howda. How did you feel about it? I felt pretty good about it. It's a very small town. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love Picturesque. It. I love a town that you can walk across in 20 yes. minutes. It's fantastic. We met someone here and they mentioned, I think they called it like a postcard. Yeah. And I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Hot yeah. is definitely like a postcard. Yeah, I also learned that Hot is really beautiful in the winter time too, which I think we had been avoiding coming here because we were waiting for spring, but it's a great city all year round. Yes. Yeah, and the cheese market honestly like was such a small part of our day. Yeah. It was cool to see it, but I mean, honestly, like we should have just come here on a day without the cheese market. Mm -hmm. It's worth the, it's, if you're coming to Howda and you can't make it on a Thursday, still come here. A Thursday morning between 10 and 12 <laughs> yeah, p.m. Yeah, Thursday morning for like two hours. Yeah. Still come here. It's a great city. Yeah, great visit. food. Beautiful. Definitely worth it. All right. That wraps up our day here in Howda. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.